Hi everyone! In the previous video I have told you about the most interesting key places of Bucharest, capital city of Romania. In today's video we will have an amazing journey using Romanian railways. The average speed of trains here is relatively slow if we compare it to Europe in general. From my point of view, that's also a benefit to enjoy your railway trip. Romania is one of the few European countries where night trains are widely used. In the previous video I have told you about the train Bucharest Chisinau, which is an amazing experience of the trip in Soviet-style wagons, even though they were actually produced in East Germany, so-called Amendorf. You can find the link to that video in the description. In this video we will talk more about the internal Romanian sleeper trains. Of course, Romania has some trains with seated carriages, but in this video we will focus only on wagons where you may lay down and sleep. Romanian railways have different types of night wagons. First type is called a berth car, with four or six berths. When I traveled in such a car, it was a brand new wagon. Second type is called a sleeper car. In all my trips it was an old car more than 30 years old. On the other hand, you have more privacy in such a cabin. Today's video will be about a trip in a sleeper car. The cabin of the sleeper car is equipped with two beds and a wash basin. If you book a single person cabin, you'll receive the same two bed compartment, but you will be traveling alone. Each passenger receives a disposable kit consisting of a toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, towel, bed linen and a bottle of still water of half liter. As I said, my wagon was quite old, so I could only dream about the electrical socket. To be more specific, there was one, but it was only for electric shavers. You also have curtains for privacy or, if you wish, less light during your sleep. There is a small table. Under it, you may find your wash basin. There are shared toilets at the end of the wagon. While not as luxurious as modern cars, these sleeper wagons offer a unique and cozy travel experience. One of the most scenic roads in Romania is the journey from Bucharest to Sigetu Marmație. This road, which takes about 14 hours, winds its way through stunning landscapes. As the train travels northward, passengers are treated to views of rolling hills, dense forests and charming villages. You can enjoy the mountain view and hear the sound of railroad wheels that you can't hear anymore in many other European countries. The most interesting part of the trip with this train is that there is a section of the railway that runs parallel to the border with Ukraine. The railway in this area has a long history. At the end of the 19th century, this area belonged to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. They invested a lot into the railway infrastructure and they built this section of the railway too. But later this area was divided by the border. Before the Second World War, the railway was more or less used for passenger connections even though there was a border. But after the Second World War, the other bank of the river became the USSR with another track gauge standard and stricter border control. As a result of the cooperation between Socialist Romania and the Soviet Union, an additional track gauge with Soviet width standard was built. Two pairs of rails of different standards overlapped each other. You can still see that when you travel in this area. There were a few attempts to recover the cross-border railway connection between Ukraine and Romania. As far as I know, unlike all given promises, it's not existing even until now. At the station Valea Vishoului, the train changes its direction. If the train would go further, it would have entered Ukraine. Right from the platform you may see Ukrainian village Khmeliv on the opposite river bank. What is even more interesting, the village where the train stops is also Ukrainian. I mean it's part of Romania of course, but 97% of locals here are Ukrainian speaking. You can even see a sign in Ukrainian. 
Then the train departs and goes along the border. The river is a border. This is a unique situation when you ride a train in Romania and see Ukraine in the window. This area is monitored and guarded very much. Besides that, the river has a very strong flow. Don't even think about crossing the border illegally. You will either die in the river or you'll be caught. The last station on the road is Sigetu Marmazi, often referred to simply Siget. This small town is also located near the border, and opposite it there is a Ukrainian town called Solotvino. From here starts the Ukrainian railway line. There is a direct train to Kyiv and some other cities. The railway connection is quite regular. There is a bridge between Solotvino and Siget, with quick and easy border control. Well, at least that's how it was before 2022. You may cross the border by foot. No car is required like at many other border crossings. One of the key attractions in Romanian Siget is the memorial of the victims of communism and of the resistance, a former prison turned museum. This museum commemorates the suffering and the resilience of those who suffered the communist regime of Romania. The prisoners were under constant watch, each cell visited every 10 minutes, day and night. Guards wore noiseless shoes, so their approach would not be heard. Once or twice a week, a prisoner was allowed a 10-minute walk in one of two courtyards. Siget has a small but beautiful town center. It's nice to have a walk here. There are a few restaurants where you can have some lunch for a very reasonable price. The negative side of the town, at least during my visit, is that there are a lot of smoke in the city. My clothes had a very strong smoke smell before being washed in a washing machine. Besides that, as soon as you exit from the town center, you see the reality. This region of Romania is very poor. Another must-visit is the Maramuresh Village Museum, an open-air museum showcasing traditional wooden houses, barns and churches. This museum provides a view into rural life of Maramuresh over the centuries. The houses are from different areas of Romania. With the audio guide on your mobile phone, you can visit and find out more about each of the houses on your own. The audio guide is available in English. The museum is located on top of the hill. When I was visiting the museum, the sound of an air raid from the opposite Ukrainian side was heard. But this Romanian side of the river lives a usual life. Right in the center of Siget stands a beautiful Ukrainian church.
Opposite to the church, there is a sculpture of the Ukrainian poet Shevchenko. Some more steps away, and you see the Ukrainian school. This is the only Ukrainian language educational institution in Romania. According to the information I found on the internet, at least 200 students should study here. As you already understood, Sigit is also very much connected to the Ukrainian communities living in the area. However, don't expect that Sigit itself is very Ukrainian. Only 3% or even less of the inhabitants are Ukrainians. But this town is connecting Ukrainians living in the villages around, some of which are also mainly Ukrainian-speaking. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more travel adventures. Stay tuned for the next video where we will delve into the world of Romanian steam trains, a true testament to the country's rich railway heritage.